Benin, officially the Republic of Benin formerly known as Daomey, is a country in West Africa. It is bordered by Togo to the west, Nigeria to the east, Burkina Faso to the northwest, and Niger to the northeast. The majority of its population lives on the small southern coastline of the Bight of Benin, part of the Gulf of Guinea in the northernmost tropical portion of the Atlantic Ocean. The capital of Benin is Porto Novo, but the seat of government is in Cotona, the country's largest city and economic capital. Benin covers an area of 114,763 square kilometers, and its population in 2018 was estimated to be approximately 11.49 million. Benin is a tropical nation, highly dependent on agriculture, and is a large exporter of cotton and palm oil. Substantial employment and income arise from subsistence farming. The official language of Benin is French, with several indigenous languages such as Fon, Bariba, Yoruba, and Dendi also being commonly spoken. The largest religious group in Benin is Roman Catholicism, followed closely by Islam, Vodun are commonly referred to as Voodoo outside the country, and Protestantism. Benin is a member of the United Nations, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone, La Francophonie, the Community of Sahel, Saharan States, the African Petroleum Producers Association, and the Niger Basin Authority. Little is known of Benin's early history. From the 17th to the 19th century, the main political entities in the area were the Kingdom of Daomey, along with the city-state of Porto Novo, and a large area with many different nations to the north. This region was referred to as the Slave Coast from as early as the 17th century, due to the large number of enslaved people who were shipped to the New World during the transatlantic slave trade. After enslavement was abolished, France took over the country, and renamed it French Daolmey. In 1960, Daolmey gained full independence from France. The sovereign state has had a tumultuous history since then, with many different democratic governments, military coups, and military governments. A Marxist-Leninist state called the People's Republic of Benin existed between 1975 and 1990. In 1991, it was replaced by the current multi-party Republic of Benin. Before we proceed, permit me welcome you to Positive Africa if you are new. Here on this channel, our core focus is to showcase the positive face of Africa out to the entire world by means of information and education. Consider subscribing and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's discover the people, cultures, geography, economy, and lots more of Benin. Despite attempts at greater national unity and integration since 1960, differences among Benin's ethnic groups survive to a marked degree. The Fon, who make up about two-fifths of the population, live in various parts of the country and especially in Kotona. The Yoruba, who are related to the Nigerian Yoruba, live mainly in southeastern Benin and constitute about one-eighth of Benin's population. In the vicinity of Porto Novo, the Gaon or Gan, and the Yoruba known in Pobe and Ketu as Nago, or Nagat are so intermixed as to be hardly distinguishable. Among other southern groups are various Aja peoples, including the Azo, the Holai, and the Mina. The Bariba, the fourth largest ethnic group, comprise several subgroups, and make up about one-tenth of Benin's population. They inhabit the northeast, especially towns such as Niki and Kandy that were once Bariba kingdoms. The Somba are found in Natatingu and in villages in the northwest. Other northern groups include the Dendi, the Pila Apila Pila, the Yolokpa, and the Nomadic Fulani. Europeans, Lebanese, South Asians, and Africans from other countries are among the foreigners who reside in Benin 
primarily in Cotona and Porto Novo. Benin's climate is hot and humid and with tropical weather conditions all year round. The average temperature is between 28 and 32 degrees Celsius throughout the year. The tropical climate conditions have a fairly high relative humidity, which makes it feel very warm especially in the months of April and May. From November to February it is the dry season in Benin. The chance of rain is considerably lower, and the intensity of the showers is also less. From March onward, the chances of precipitation increase, after which the rainy season starts around April or May. The wet season continues until September or October. The best time to visit Benin is in the dry season from November to February. Bordered by Togo, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Nigeria, Benin has a 121-kilometer long coastline on the Gulf of Guinea, a population of over 12.1 million as of 2021, and an average life expectancy of 61.2 years. Benin's economy is heavily reliant on the informal re-export and transit trade with Nigeria, estimated at approximately 20% of GDP, and on agriculture, especially cotton, which is the country's leading export product. Despite steady, robust economic growth over the past two decades, poverty remains widespread owing to limited growth in per capita terms. The national headcount poverty rate was estimated at 40.1% in 2015, as against 49.5% in 2008 based on the international poverty threshold set at 1.90 Singapore dollars per person per day in purchasing power parity terms. Greater economic diversification, more efficient public spending, and a more equitable geographical distribution of resources would pave the way for lower poverty rates and more inclusive growth. The short-term outlook is negative due to the global economic slowdown associated with COVID-19. External transmission channels will play a significant role, particularly the slowdown in the Nigerian economy in the wake of low oil prices and the overall drop in raw material prices, especially cotton. Capital outflows are likely to lead to a sharp drop in foreign direct investment and to increase financing costs. The impact of internal transmission channels, reduction in consumption, and domestic investment will depend on contagion risk and the public policy choices made to combat the pandemic. Beninese cuisine is known in Africa for its exotic ingredients and flavorful dishes. Beninese cuisine involves fresh meals served with a variety of key sauces. In southern Benin cuisine, the most common ingredient is corn, often used to prepare dough which is mainly served with peanut or tomato-based sauces. Fish and chicken are the most common meats used in southern Beninese cuisine, but beef, goat, and bush rat are also consumed. The main staple in northern Benin is yams, often served with sauces mentioned above. The populations in the northern provinces use beef and pork meat, which is fried in palm or peanut oil or cooked in sauces. Cheese is used in some dishes. Couscous, rice, and beans are commonly eaten, along with fruits such as mangoes, oranges, avocados, bananas, kiwi fruit, and pineapples. Meat is usually quite expensive, and meals are generally light on meat and generous on vegetable fat. Frying in palm or peanut oil is the most common meat preparation, and smoked fish is commonly prepared in Benin. Grinders are used to prepare corn flour, which is made into a dough and served with sauces. Chicken on the spit is a traditional recipe in which chicken is roasted over a fire on wooden sticks. Palm roots are sometimes soaked in a jar with salt water and sliced garlic to tenderize them, then used in dishes. Many people have outdoor mud stoves for cooking. Why not check out this playlist for more informative and educational videos about Africa? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Positive Africa if you loved the video. Thanks for watching, God bless you, and see you in the next video.